Hello everyone. I would like to talk to you today about the use of continuous glucose monitoring or CGM in the treatment of diabetes. I've been in this field for more than 50 years and when we started, we didn't even have glucose meters to check glucose of patients. All we had was urine sugar testing. Then came the glucose meters where the initial ones took several minutes and the performance was very bad, the accuracy. Then the glucose meters got better and better. In five seconds, you can get the reading. But the problem with the glucose meters is that you have to poke every time and it's painful. You have to take the blood out and then it will only give you that minute what was the blood sugar reading. What it was half an hour earlier or what it will be after half an hour, you cannot find out. So you need, it's like taking photographs. You have to keep on taking multiple photographs you want to find out. Even then it's not like a video. The concept of continuous glucose monitoring came a few years ago. In fact, I worked on it even in 1985 in Germany, but didn't succeed at that time. Subsequently, various CGM or continuous glucose monitoring sensors came, where you can get blood glucose levels throughout the day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, before food, after food, when you're sleeping, when you're awake, uh, awake all that you can find out using CGM. Different models of CGM are available all over uh, the world. And we have been using one or two uh, systems in India. It's very, very useful to track the uh, blood sugar levels of patients, particularly those with type 1 diabetes or uh, those who are having type 2 diabetes on insulin. But I would say for anyone, even tablet treated or diet treated, it helps you to find out which particular food increase your sugar, which one doesn't increase that much, after exercise what happens. So wearing a, a CGM is very useful. Usually you just wear it like a small patch on your arm and it continuously tells you the glucose readings throughout the day. Till recently we had one model of uh, a company's uh, a CGM which is quite uh, popular. Uh, very recently uh, the uh, improved version of that uh, company's uh, CGM has now come into the market and people have, were already asking me what are the advantages of this. Number one, the accuracy is much more. The accuracy is measured in terms of what we call as MART, M-A-R-T. And the lower the MART, the more sensitive uh, or more accurate or precise it is. The earlier systems which were there in India had a MART of about 9.4. Now it's come down to 8.2% showing that it is much more accurate. Secondly, the earlier CGMs could be used only in children above 4 years of age. Now it has been reduced to 2 years of age. So even if a small child was 2 years of age, you can use this uh, CGM. Thirdly, the CGM sensor earlier used to measure the glucose levels for 14 days. Now it is 15 days. And it's also a little easier and more accurate to use. So I would recommend that patients who are not using continuous glucose monitoring, if you have diabetes, whether you are on tablets or insulin, particularly if you are on multiple tablets and on insulin, please wear the CGM. For those with type 1 diabetes, we normally recommend that you continuously use it because then you know the ups and downs of sugar. You can even adjust your insulin doses based on that. For those with type 2 diabetes, Maybe you don't need to use it continuously. Maybe once in two, three months, you can wear it for two weeks and get an idea how much it is. Another indication where we use CGM is in those with pregnancy related diabetes. So in gestational diabetes or pregnancy related diabetes, wearing the CGM will help to maintain very tight control of the glucose levels and this will improve the outcomes for both the mother as well as for the child. So I hope you are convinced about the use of CGM or continuous glucose monitoring, please do use it and improve your diabetes control.